Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Poppy Britt, and welcome to the Platicando con Poppy podcast. If it's your first time here, then welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. Thank you so much for making time and space for me. I know that I'm a little, I've, it's been a while since I posted, basically. And I know that, and I know I've said that I want to be consistent and that I want to post every week, but honestly, I just haven't felt like I have anything positive to say, and I have been feeling a lot of negative emotions, and I don't like to bring negative stuff on to the internet or focus on negative things. I know a lot of people tell me, like, don't focus on the negative but I've been taking these last few weeks to kind of reassess everything in my life, and this has been part of it. And I was just genuinely, like, at a loss for words with the kind of comments and messages and hate and racist remarks that I received on my podcast with my ex and mind you he was my first guest so I was not expecting to receive that kind of hate but considering that he's a black male a lot of men decided to not only sexualize us and make some disgusting comments about how usually Latinas get like get paid for making videos with black men insinuating you know what and just talking about how disappointed my parents should be because I dated a black man and just really disgusting comments and I it had me at a loss for words honestly not only because I know what I stand for and what I represent and I'm very very vocal about it so at this point, people should know that I do not tolerate shit like that. I have people I love and care about who are of every walk of life. I have people who I love that are trans, that are uh, queer, that have, you know, disabilities, that are, I mean, differently abled, that are from every walk of life, basically. Every race, every ethnicity, every background, different legal status, everything. And I have been an advocate for basic human rights and went to school to get an ethnic studies major with a double minor in sociology and women's studies. I have taken the time to educate myself to become a better person and to advocate for what I believe in. And so I have been lucky enough to surround myself with like-minded people that are not racist, that are not ignorant, that continue to create safe spaces for people of all walks of life who are not hateful, who are not spiteful, who are not thinking those negative, disgusting things that have been commented on my videos. I've been lucky enough that in my real life, I don't come across that and haven't came across it for a while. So to see in 2024 racist comments, especially by people of color towards my black ex is insane and just something that I did not expect. I didn't realize, and obviously, duh, But I didn't realize people were so fucking ignorant and racist still. I really didn't. And honestly, the comments don't get to me. It's just I hate the fact that I even have to read them. That I even have to entertain or give those 30 seconds of my life and my energy towards those people. And I hate the anger. And, like, it makes me so mad. Like, even right now, my heart is beating so fast and I'm literally shaking because it makes me so mad. And 
for me, the thing is, I, again, people tell me not to focus on the negative comments, not to focus on the negative. And I try not to, but I have realized that I am allowed to make a big deal out of the things that are a big deal to me and the things that bring out big emotions out of me. And when I have people screaming in my face, basically, about some racist, disgusting ass shit, I have the right to defend myself. And not that I'm sitting here defending myself, but I have the ability to block these people. And I it, I hate that I have to bite my tongue because a lot of times I want to comment and I want to tell them off and, you know, go. But I realize that they don't deserve my energy and that I don't need to be going back and forth with people who are ignorant uneducated hateful disgusting who are projecting their own insecurities who are working from the ego like I don't need to entertain that and they don't deserve my energy and I know that my energy is what makes them special they just want a reaction and so that's why I just block and delete but my thing moving forward is I hope people know that I whatever like when it comes to me it's whatever but when it comes to the people I love and care about, like, I'm not tolerating that shit. And I have been asking myself what this is all for, whether it's even fucking worth it, because I'm just like, I'm putting myself out there, I'm being vulnerable, and people feel entitled to give an opinion. They feel like they know me, and I'm showing them the beautiful, amazing, talented people in my life that I love and care about and I'm like why would I even give you access to such beautiful souls and people when you're so hateful like why would I expose them to that these are beautiful individuals and so with Valeria I'm so 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 grateful that there was no hate because she's just such a beautiful beautiful soul and someone I truly love and admire so why would I expose her to the fucking hate that I receive on this channel and I'm at a point where I'm just going to literally not let people comment anymore um, because I block people and then they make hate pages and then they comment and they just find entertainment out of it. And I just don't have the energy and people tell me not to uh, block the comments and honestly, because of engagement, but honestly, I just don't give a shit. I'm not doing this for views. I'm not doing it for likes. I'm doing it because I genuinely feel called to do it and because I know that certain things that I talk about resonate with people and people feel seen and heard and that's what I want to do and the space I want to create and I honestly don't care about views I have this is another thing that I've been meaning to talk about but I have so many people come up to me in person or ask me to be in my podcast and it puts me in such an uncomfortable position to have to turn them down because it's people that see a podcast and they see money signs or they see an opportunity to get views or whatever and that's not what this is for me I, I was at Sunday Funder the other day and this I met this guy and his friend who was introducing us told him that I have a podcast and immediately he was like oh I'm trying to be on it I'm trying to be on your podcast blah 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 blah, blah. and I'm like I just met you like I honestly I have a like I just I mean maybe but like I just don't even know you and he's like well I can make you money I can get you views I can you and I'm like well yeah that's not what it's about though like I I, I don't care about that he's like no nah, I can make you a bag like blah 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 and I'm like I, that's not what I care about like that's really not what I care about if like again if it comes yes I would be so fucking grateful but I'm not here for views I also had this guy who like I used to talk to like five six years ago who I actually like liked and who was just playing in my face and just being shitty who literally fucking is not doing much with himself now and it's just honestly a lame asked to be on my podcast and I'm like why would I have you on my podcast please like not saying that I'm hot shit or anything but for what you did me dirty like what do, what do we have to talk about what are you doing for yourself? Like, no. And, like, I had this other dude who is apparently a promoter here in Denver. And I'm, like, cool with him, whatever. I just met him. 
but he was asking to be on my podcast and I was down I was I was like oh yeah you're doing cool shit whatever I'm down but then I I get word that he also has a podcast and he's giving a platform to abusers why would I want to be associated with that and he's doing it as in like a controversial like let's find out the truth like blah 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 and my friend who literally has negative experiences with the individual he's giving a platform to was literally like why would you do that and he was like well unless I have court documents then I'm still gonna fucking have him on I'm like I am not that's not what I'm about I don't I'm not gonna give a platform to people that I think are shitty or whatever just to get views or who are controversial I've had like I had this dude once telling me like, oh, you're just too scared to have someone with more followers, more pop in, whatever. I'm like, no, I'm just intentional about the people that I have on my podcast. And I want people that I, I know I can relate to that have the same heart as me that like, that's what I want on my podcast. Like, I want authenticity. I want vulnerability. I want people to show, you know, that we're all imperfect. And that's what I want. And if I can't have that and if I have to lose my morality or what I stand on in order to get those views I don't want them I'm not gonna change myself or do things outside of my values just for views and the other thing is that I know what I stand for I know what I believe in and I'm at a point where I don't care to go back and forth with people anymore why do you think I fucking started a podcast because I want to sit here and fucking talk I have had resistance towards everything I say for such a long time. In college, I used to turn my face purple and protest and go crazy and advocate and go into fucking battles with people about things I believed in. And I would pull out scholarly sources and books and references and statistics and everything only to realize that one, people. there's certain people that are not worth my energy. Two, there's people that are committed to misunderstanding me. And three, there's people that are never going to change regardless of whatever facts that you present them. And I don't care to be around those people anymore. I don't care to turn my face purple to try to debate with someone about whether I think genocide is acceptable or not or the politics behind that. I don't care to do that. And so this is literally just a, basically a PSA Letting people know that moving forward, you don't get access to me and my podcast. I will block you. I will delete you. Like, I don't care. You don't need to be here. I want to create a community of like-minded people where we feel seen, heard, where we can be vulnerable. And if you can't exist within this, you don't have to be here. Like, I don't understand why people are so committed to still watching my shit and commenting hateful shit. I've already said multiple times commenting on my appearance does nothing I've literally start. I wear t-shirts so you can't see my chest like I don't care if you think I'm hot or not I don't care that's not what this is about and part of the reason I I literally cover myself to the max when I'm recording this podcast because this is not what that it's about and I record it on a video because I I mean I have my YouTube and at least this is monetized so it can hopefully make my like me money at some point but I also record it because I, I like to sit and watch podcasts on YouTube. So that's why I make it on a, a video too. But I just, it's not, if the best thing I have to offer is my looks, then I have failed. Because I want people to see me for my heart, my experiences, my vulnerability. And I want to just create a sense of being a community. That's what I want to do. I want to show up for people. I want to help people. I want this shit to matter. And if it doesn't, then I, like, I don't, like, there's no point to it. So, yeah, I, again, plan to have, I have a, a lineup of guests that I want to have. But, again, this is not a debate. I'm not here to try to prove myself to anyone. You don't have to watch me. And I'm grateful for the people that do. And I'm very, very, very grateful that I do receive a lot of love and really good feedback. And I know that. A lot of people do look forward to this podcast and care about me and want to see me thrive and do well, but I'm only human. Let's be so fucking for real. And like, I don't understand why I receive so much hate. I really don't. 
And I, well, I know that it's a lot of, again, all the hate I receive is for men who are miserable within their lives, who sit behind a keyboard making fake profiles to hate on a woman, tear her apart because it makes them feel bigger. It makes them feel better. And again, even though it doesn't affect me, like I, like there's certain shit I can't change about myself and that doesn't make me any less valuable. Like I just... I'm not here for those people. And that's why I'm saying, like, your commitment to continuously commenting hate, at the end of the day, like, it still gives me a view and it still gives me a comment, but I just don't care to, like, even engage with that. I don't want to read it. I don't want to see it. And, like, I, I continue to show up because I know it means something. But there's so many times where I'm like, I could just easily just shut it all down. I could easily just get off social media and not post on here not subject myself to any of this shit because it's not what's paying my bills like I'm literally losing out on money by doing this shit like so I don't know but again I know I just feel like there's a higher purpose to this and it sounds silly but I know there is and at this point I've just I'm at a point where it's just if I give up they fucking win And so now I'm just working simply out of spite. And I feel like I've made a thousand videos talking about the hate that I receive and all that shit. But apparently it's a continuous lesson that the universe wants to teach me. So here we are fucking talking about it again. And yeah, I've been trying to get my mind right and seeing what this all has to teach me. And I've been in the gym and I've been focusing on the people that love me. I've been hanging out with my family more making time to hang out with the people that love me and care about me and that actually pour into me yeah I know I know that I have to keep going like that that's really what it comes down to and even if it comes down to just me sitting here inventing it that's what it's gonna be but then again I just want everyone to know that I'm not here to debate I'm not here to argue with people I'm here to show up speak about my truth speak about what I believe in create a space that is feels welcoming to me where I feel safe and where I can freely express myself and if you want to be part of that cool and if you don't cool but don't I just don't care to get unsolicited advice or comments about my life as if people know me because I have people giving their opinions about everything in my life now because they feel entitled to my life and think that they know me simply because of this and that's really not the case so yeah that's where we're at but um nice little check-in I'm actually going blonde tomorrow so this is my last podcast with dark hair I just feel like I'm entering into a new era of poppy Brit so yeah I don't know I think it's time for a change I've had dark hair for three years and I'm so nervous to see what I look like blonde, but whatever. I just feel like I, I need a change. I don't know. I need I need something new and different in my life. So next podcast, I will be blonde. I don't think I'm actually going to post an actual picture and like hard launch of my hair until the Bad Bunny concert because I want to have a fire fit and like hard launch that I went blonde, but you guys will see it on here. So yeah. But anyways, also, can you all do me a huge, 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 huge favor? 60% of the people that are subs- or 60% of the people that watch my YouTube channel that watch my podcast that listen to my podcast are not subscribed. So please 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 do me a favor, give the video a like, give the podcast five stars, subscribe and turn the notifications on. Like please <laughs> please do me that favor since the bitch is not getting paid yet. Please that helps me out a lot. So, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys. Have a blessed week, and I'll talk to you guys next time.